Big metal table, working with exposed wires equals crispy Gareth. Okay, that might insulate me a little bit against my death. Cool, sweet, let's begin. So today we're gonna make something uh, like this. This is a 24 volt transformer. It turns 240 volt AC into uh, 24 volt DC which is what these, these wee bad boys run off. These are ultrasonic misters, as you may be familiar with. This has got a little, um, what do you call it? Resistor, I guess, that allows you to adjust the voltage going to the ultrasonic mister. That's my lowest, is 17 and a half. Or I can up it to, whoop, if it goes beyond 24 volts, it doesn't like that. There we go, cooking on gas now. But yeah, you can obviously weigh this down to the right depth. I'd be asking why did I use a single transformer in the first place? Well, because every single, um, uh, what do you call it? Every single ultrasonic mister comes with one of these. Now you have a bank of six of these going at once. Uh, not only are they incredibly hot, you know, they, they heat up um, way more than what I think they should, but they are incredibly bulky as well. So trying to contain six of these in one power bank feels a bit janky. So yeah, this is essentially six of these. Um, so let's build. Let's pretend we didn't see any of this. So that's the gear you're going to need, you're going to need a transformer, you're going to need some barrel, uh, these are 2.1mm barrel plugs, the male, uh, which obviously goes into the 2.1mm um, uh, female barrel plug. You're going to need a plug of your country of origin and you just want to strip the, uh, the end wires, we'll do that in a sec. Uh, you want it to have a, a, an earth as well, some countries don't, you definitely want this thing earthed, it's a, it's a metal case, you're going to be touching it, so you definitely want it to earth in case of a problem. Um, and I have had a problem with one of these, so be careful. Uh, various plug, uh, various terminals, I've got a couple of rings and a few fork terminals. Uh, these are 10 to 12 gauge, I think. And these are slightly smaller, 14 to 16. Uh, yeah, these are 14 to 16, so, you know, it's a bit of backyard engineering, what you've got in the toolbox. Uh, some heat shrink. Uh, keep the ladies happy, and then some tools. I got some wire crimps, some strippers, some pliers, some snips, and some screwdrivers. So let's begin. First job is stripping the dooby doo. So let's do that. You can always strip more off. Putting it back on is a bit of a pain. You have to cut back. <laughs> um, so we'll pop him in, force him up to the end. Squeeze, click, release. She ain't going nowhere, and so we'll just repeat that. And then neutral is obviously uh, blue. I'm gonna look on top of our transformer, and you can see the little symbols are there. That's pretty handy. So uh, what we've got is live, neutral, and earth. So what we're gonna do is is, is screw them into the corresponding. Uh, terminal. You can of course use uh, a ring terminal, in fact it might even be smarter to use a ring terminal because um, obviously if you pull this off you don't want a live wire uh, rolling around. So there's a lesson for you. But do as I say, not as I do. And then what we're going to do is just test it, make sure it turns on, which it does. We're happy. Unplug. Cool. Today I'm only going to make a uh, four mister head because that's all, um, I only got four barrel plugs. So what we're going to do is if we're going to start by stripping out these, uh, the end of all four of these. So we're going to strip that back. We want these slightly longer because we want to twist them together. If you were feeling devious you could solder them. I'm not feeling devious. Just going to split these down the middle so pull them apart. You big sausage fingers. Urgh. At least, at least part of the way, not all the way. Now at this point, we're assuming that live is solid red and uh, 
neutral or earth is um, the bank of red and black. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these in banks of two. So we're going to intertwine two of these together like so. And this is where you can always solder them back. If your fingers don't work too well like my sausages, you can always twist with a wee, uh, wee bit of plier there just to get a tight twist at the end it through. That might be a little bit too far but We'll see how she goes. We're going to poke it through and then we're going to crimp one of the terminals on, like so. So we've got one joined there and we're going to repeat with the readies. Cool. Obviously this heat shrink's miles too long so we'll just Cut it in half. Plug Gunny in. Next step is to make sure your uh, transformer is obviously unplugged. And we've got positive voltage, minus voltage. So what we want to do is, uh, you can see I've actually lost, um, there's three banks of each. So you could have two, four, six, or you can have three, six, nine. I wouldn't overload each individual one too heavily. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, positive to the positive. I know, complicated this. So under the thing there, I'm going to plug that in, slide it in. And do it up. That's really the best visual demonstration that Gareth. Uh, and then we're going to take the negative and we're going to put it into the second slot of that. There's no reason for that, it's just my bit of my OCD. So we'll do that to there. That's the last one of the positive bank. And we'll pop that one into the negative. And that's the that one of the thingy bank. Oh no, it'll be the wrong way around, won't it? So we want that one there. Just like that. Now what we can do is we can thread these through, probably have to do them one at a time. Thread through a giant um, heat shrinking tube. There we go. One ultrasonic mister. Homemade. Cheap as chips. So that's how I've got my setup normally for my, uh, my misting system. I uh, usually got it set up to a timer or a, a humidistat. Uh, that's actually that thing there, but that's coming in a later episode. Uh, what we've got there then is got the four little uh, misters floating away in there. And then all we're going to do is uh, cut a little fan, put it in there, it's a little black orchid fan, pretty good, pretty uh, residual, uh, sorry, resilient uh, <laughs> against the uh, the forces of um, moisture. So yeah, that's basically it. Hope that helped. <laughs> Bye.